for the record, you guys think the, uh, the mayor was basically lying about cleaning Kensington up? Because uh, from what I can tell, she didn't do too much cleaning. Everybody just goes right back out there. And they got pushed to Allegheny. I mean... They just locking motherfuckers up, letting us back out. They not changing shit. I don't know. I can't really, because I'm not really into politics, but mm -hmm. I think it's deeper than just... Uh, it's a lot of people behind the scenes that is not, I mean, really happy about what she's trying to do. I mean, like, you know, it's a lot of money that's getting fucked up, you know, like, so... I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm not in the policy, you know, so I can't really speak on all that, but. Once you get clean, what's the first thing you're going to do? It's all good. I'm going to go see my kid. Go see your kid? I mean, I still see him. You know, I still talk to him. I'm still an active father, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't never changed. That's one thing you can't call me is a deadbeat. You can call me anything else. But when I say see my kids, I mean like see my kids actually, you know, like. That's love. in the wild, clean, you know, like not. I mean. And, and it's Mother's Day tomorrow, man. Reach out to your baby moms or something, you know? I did, I did already. Yeah, and my your best mom friend for too. How about you, Q? You're gonna do it, man. You're gonna get clean. You're gonna get out of this. You're gonna do it, bro. You're gonna do it. I'd like to thank you fellas for your time. Been, you guys been wonderful interviewees for me. God bless y'all brothers, man. The struggle don't last forever. If I could, I'll break y'all out. Hello, fellas. What's good? Nice to, nice to meet you guys. I, I spoke to you before, Sarah, on the right. I'm sorry I forgot your name, but our last interview was a good one. Sorry I didn't get to put it out the way I wanted to. Oh, good. It's Q. Q. Yeah, Q, Q. Speaking with USA Fox, welcome to the channel. I'm here to give a voice to the voiceless. May I have your name, sir? On the name is Maserati. Maserati. Q and Maserati. Where are you from, Maserati? North Philly. Q, you from North Philly, too? Brother. Okay. What's it like out here in this Kensington section? Get dark. But right now, it's, it's kind of like transitioning. You know, we got a new mayor right now, so like, you know, she trying some. You know, I don't know really how it's going to pan out, but I mean, trying to get everybody off the street, so. Mm -hmm. What was it like growing up out here, Maserati? I mean, you know, like, every other hood, you feel me, like, getting in trouble, you mean, like, doing a lot of dumb stuff, playing sports, you mean, like, you know, you know how it go. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Kensington? I know you just mentioned uh, the mayor pushing the addicts back. What do you think about the ass? You worried about all the wrong shit, brother. Worried about all the wrong stuff. Man. Missing kids out here, they going about a motherfucker smoking crack on the corner. That don't make sense. Yeah, you said it's missing kids out here? I didn't even know about all of that. Damn. And females. A lot of females. Yeah, they definitely worried about all the wrong stuff. But um, as far as the, the addicts, you know, just uh living on the on the street like that, living on the block. I know it's been around for a long time, but you guys think it, how, how do you fix that problem? There's no place like Kensington, you know what I mean? Like, it, this shit is home to, to, for a lot of people, you know what I mean? Like, they're used to it, you know? That's all they know. So, so I think it, it, it's gonna be hard, you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be hard. Is it bothersome waking up to this every day or is this regular now? It's not regular. 
You can never get used to this. And why do you think these streets are, are this way? So nobody care, everybody for themselves. Everybody for themselves. Everybody just want to make money. Nobody really think about the next person. It's about a dollar. You guys have any goals you want to accomplish? Cool. In the nearby future, anything like that? I'm trying to get me and my brother out the street. Hmm. Any any plans on um, the future? How you plan on getting out of the streets? Uh, I might uh, I might check back into school and go get a trade. You know, um, you know, do something positive, productive. You know, what I mean? like you know, it's easier said than done, but. I just gotta make that first step. So. Right, Maserati and Q. How you guys get those nicknames? You know, just stuck with it. You know? Are you guys dealing with any addictions of your own? Opiate. Percocets. What's your addiction like? How many a day do you, are you using? Man, yeah. What's up, man? It, it really, it depends on, you know, how the day go, you feel me? It really depends on the day. Is it like rough dealing with your habit or is it to the point where you know, is it is it at a breaking point, or has it has it stopped you from doing anything you wanted to do in life? Yeah, of course. Cool. And the father. Yeah. Cool. It affected my life. That shit a bad joint. Like, have you made any attempts at trying to get clean? Yeah. I've been clean. I've been clean for like five years. I just slipped, you feel me? I see my brother out here, you feel me? And that made me, like, you know, come out here and try, you know, convince him to go to rehab. And it didn't go the way I planned, you know, I wind up relapsing, you feel me? Like, it happened, you know, I know what I did, I know what I gotta do, so. You guys have shelter at, at all? You have place to go? We well, want to. You know, it's the street. It's the class lane. You feel me? Like, people, I don't know, it's weird. People love being in the streets. They can have a place to go. And still want to be out here. Choose to stay out Choose to be out here, right. I'm talking about people in general, not just me and Q. I'm talking about, like, people in general. A lot of people out here that can go home. A lot of people out here. Are the 30s cut with anything else, or are they just, uh, you get them from a, a, these, a good supplier, or? Everything cut with everything. Everything cut with everything. Like you, you can have crack cut with fentanyl. Like everything cut with everything. How was your life like before the Percocets? The same. The same next. Miserable. How are you managing to fuel your habit every day? I get to it. Hustle. Sell shit, take shit. Are there any dangers on these streets? Yeah, sure. No danger on all shit. Right. The danger is what you put yourself into if you ain't focused. I mean, like if you do something dumb, I mean you gotta pay for the consequences. Philadelphia. Philly. 
dangerous. How would you feel if your family was to see this interview? I don't know. They already know. They did. They, they know what it is. I know, but to see this in, interview, you feel me like? Have you ever seen anybody overdose? Every other day. That shit's normal. Here. Does it scare you at all? I mean, when you actually think about it, you know, it's a scary situation. But it's the norm. Like, you know, a motherfucker can be overdosing. Another motherfucker run in his pocket. Like, that shit kills him, man. That's what it is. Does everybody know about your habit already? The people that know you, or? For the most part. You know. For the most part. Were you trying to hide it at all, or? Can't hide it, yeah. But yeah, you know. I think you hiding it, but you ain't hiding it. Everybody already knew it. By the way that you act, the way that you move, the things that you do, the way that you talk. You ain't been slick, you ain't fooling nobody. But yourself. You ain't even fooling yourself, because you know you full of shit. <laughs> now Q, in our last interview, I don't know if we spoke about, I think, I think you might have told me you was a rapper, right? You think it's possible I can hear, hear something? It seems like you always catch me at the wrong time. Dude. Wrong time? Caught you at the wrong time? How about you, Maserati? You rap at all? I mean, I'm not a rapper. No, I can rap, but I, my whole family can rap. I leave it to them. Q, my older brother, like, they, they got that. You feel me like? I don't believe I got you guys age. I'm 31. 27. 27, Q? Okay. How long you guys been friends for? My brother. My blood little brother. You always had his back growing up? Always will. Man, That's what's up, man. Always it's will. It's good to have your brother, man. He got your back. I know you guys are stuck in this addiction right now, but you can break this curse. You can get out of it. What you gotta do is make the shot. You gotta make the attempt first. You can do it. What advice would you give the youth out here ripping and running streets? What would you tell them? Don't do it. It's not it. You guys have any thoughts on um, the... Um, the gun violence, pretty much, that's going on. Uh, and how these guns are just uh, in everybody's hands nowadays. I don't think it was always like this. I mean, I don't like it. I mean, like, you live by the you, sword, you die by the sword. That's right. right. Like, as far as, I'm asking you a question as far as like, it's pretty much us black brothers killing each other. Like, it's pointless. Like, I used to box, you feel me? Like, I, I grew up where, like, you know, you, you throw your hands and you fight. You feel mm -hmm. like, Problem you, is, people can't do that are fucking scared like, to get punched in the mouth. Right. So, like, a nigga they, like me, you gotta walk with a strap. Like, they don't know how to fight. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to fight. That's why they, that's why they got the guns. No, nobody know how to communicate. Motherfuckers is emotional. For the record, you guys think the, uh, the mayor was basically lying about cleaning Kensington up? Because uh, from what I can tell, she didn't do too much cleaning. Everybody just goes right back out there. And they got pushed to Allegheny. I mean... They just locking motherfuckers up, letting us back out. They not changing shit.
I don't know. I, I can't really, because I'm not really into politics, but mm -hmm. I think it's deeper than just... Uh, it's a lot of people behind the scenes that, that is not, I mean, really happy about what she's trying to do. You know, like, you know, it's a lot of money that's getting fucked up. You know, like, so... I'm just going to leave it at that, because I... I'm not in the policy, you know, so I can't really speak on all that. But once you get clean, what's the first thing you're gonna do? So good. I'm gonna go see my kid. Go see your kid. I mean, I still see him. You know, I still talk to him. I'm still an active father. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. they ain't never changed. That's one thing you can't call me is a deadbeat. You feel me? You call me anything else. But when I say see my kids, I mean like see my kids actually, you know, like That's love. Time in the wild clean, you know, like not I mean. And and it's Mother's Day tomorrow, man. Reach out to your baby moms or something. You I know? did, I did already. Yeah, That's and my your best mom friend for too. Her. You know? she, How she, about you, Q? You're gonna do it, man. You're gonna get clean. You're gonna get out of this. You're gonna do it, bro. You're gonna do it. I'd like to thank you fellas for your time. Been, you guys have been wonderful interviewees for me. God bless y'all brothers, man. The struggle don't last forever. If I could, I'll break y'all out.